Let's see the recent maritime accidents. VF Tanker 7 runs aground in Caspian Sea. On 158 kilometers in the Volga Caspian Sea Canal tanker VF Tanker 7 came aground. No leak recorded or observed in the vicinity, hull was not broken. Canoe traffic was claimed to be continuous, although S and N of stranded tankers were fitted with clusters of cargo ships. Beirut Port, three people inhaled poisonous gas, one died. On board the cattle ship FM Spiridon, three Syrians in Beirut inhaled toxic gas. Seawater was draining feed in, which passed through the aperture of the chamber. Two employees lost conscience, but the rescuer's civil defense squad succeeded in taking the workers alive. Unfortunately, the third worker died at the place. Black Sea Coaster Happy Wolf towed to safety. On SEP 2 of Coaster Happy Wolf, the Bulgarian coast engine failed. Turkish SAR tug was used in Turkish seas to draw her back. In the morning of SEP 4 she was anchored in anchorage at Turkli in Istanbul, in the Black Sea. Fire on the UM Kayser, Iraq. It is alleged that fire broke out in one of the cabins, specifically the CE cabin. Fire stated that firefighters were extinguished promptly, there was no reported injury and there were minor damages. The incident took place in the harbor of Um Kayser in Iraq on an Iraqi state-owned hopper dredger. Fire breaks out in container ship hold after explosion, warning Vinifco, Vietnam. It was probable that the explosion and subsequent fire resulted from the sparks generated by manufacturing operations in the area of Morning Vinifco. In approximately half an hour, fire was extinguished by firefighting personnel that came to the area soon after the fire warning. There were no reports of injuries. Jenk car is towed to port after breakdown in the Black Sea. On September 4, Jenk car collapsed at Black Sea off the coast of Bardana Masra, Turkey. The ship was hauled to Zon Guldak in Turkey in the beginning of September 5. She stayed in port on the morning of September 6 and could need repairs from the shipyard. Gazelle Coast Adrift, abandoned after three weeks off radar. Gazelle Coast reported on the morning of 6 Sept, crippled and abandoned, abandoned, PNG separating New England Island in the Vitius Strait. From mid-August to Sept 6 ships AIS went off, thus from now on, it is still another mystery. In the South Atlantic, a tug is towing the Xylos bulk carrier. Xylos bulk ship, which was explosively disabled on August 31st and has remained been floating since September 7th, understood that it was to be towed to Montevideo by RG Warrior offshore tug. According to local reports, the captain of the bulk carrier informed to MRCC Uruguay that the crew can restart the engine. Melagunis M product tanker crew killed by mooring line in Italy. After being hit by a breaking of a mooring line, a 54-year-old Philippine crew of the Melagenes M product tanker perished on the scene. Tanker was unmooring but clearly, it was arrested for inquiry following a horrific accident. Rotterdam bulk carrier in Chang is on fire. Costco bulk ship in Chang has been loading lithium batteries in Rotterdam since September 2nd, allegedly caught fire. As of the 9th of September 220th, the fires were presumably still raging on the port vessels and a tug. False alarm fires on Turkish bulk carrier Athena I. Athena bulk carrier I fired in Izmir, Turkish, Aegean Sea, 7th of September. I suffered from the flames. Photos showed the ship with smoke plumes and cargo holds on social networks. There was no fire on board when it came out. Smoke was wrong with fumigating gases. Bulk carrier Coral Crystal troubled in Suez Canal. Bulk ship Coral Crystal apparently found it facing technical problems whilst traveling south from the Suez Canal on the way to Port Sudan, Sudan. At around 1,300 up she arrived at Great Bitter Lake, which seems like her own power is sailing. It was stated that traffic was not impacted. MSC Katrina reportedly on fire off the coast of South Africa, on SEP 9, SW, Port Elizabeth, South Africa, MSC Katrina believed to be on fire. Caravanning to Durban with ETA September 16, via headwind storm, but possibly in the region of Port Elizabeth, the caravan will need to take shelter. Caravan to Port Elizabeth towed by S.A. Amandla. Explosion of the Forte de São Marcos LPG tanker in Brazil. In Porto de Aratu, Bahia State, Brazil, LPG tanker Forte de São Marcos was explosive in a freight tank. A lot of white smoke from the boat cargo compartment was followed by the explosion. There have been no injuries to yet, unclear level of damages. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, 
drop it in comment section. Subscribe to Marin Aura for more updates.